Okay, so let's have a look at part D for question 9, 2020, Houghton paper. Um, looking at the cash budgets. So prepare a budget, trade and profit and loss account for Houghton Limited for the first four months, 31st to 10th, 2020, if the budget cost of a unit of finished goods is 30 euro. So let's have a look at this. So the layout is not going to be much different from your profit and loss account. So you're going to have your heading, you're going to have your sales. And remember your sales. We have all of them calculated as part of our workings. So when we go to our sales figure, the figure we get, we multiply the units by the price. So 570, 580, 580,000, um, 590,000, and 595,000. All of those four added together is going to be our sales figure. So we're going to have 570,000 plus 580,000. Plus 590,000 plus 595,000. So each one of them taken from our workings from C are units multiplied by the selling price. That's going to be your sales. The next figure then we're going to look at is your opening stock. So we don't have any opening stock in the question, so that's going to be zero. Your purchases then are taken from part B. So if we go to part B of the question. All these figures along the bottom added together, they're all going to be our purchase purchases. So 677,880. So there are purchases figure. Then we got our closing stock. Now we got two closing stock. We got finished goods and we got raw materials. So the closing stock from our finished goods are going to be taken from part A. And our closing stock for raw materials are going to be taken from part B. So we go to part A. Now remember, we're only doing it for four months. So October, the closing stock then is going to be 707,320. And that's going to be multiplied that by 30 euro because that's what it tells in the question. And then our raw materials then. So part B. So once again, we're only doing it for four months. So our closing stock is 9,856. And price per kg is going to be 3 euro. So it's going to be... 9,856 multiplied by 3. So part A, 7,320 multiplied by 30, because that's what it tells in the question. And raw materials then from part B, 9,856 multiplied that by 3 euro per kg. So we need to add our open stock to our purchases first. Then we need to add up our closing stock together. I'm going to take our closing stock away from our purchases and then we want to take this figure away from our sales because it says less cost of sales that's going to give us your gross profit of 1,906,360 the next time we come to our expenses so a lot of these expenses are going to be taken from our profit and loss our balance sheet not balance sheet but our budget account that we just did so the likes of your wages your variable overhead, not so your fixed cost, but your depreciation going there as well. And you'll be having your, your interest in there as well. You'll be taking away your interest. And not to forget about your discounts. Remember, we had a discount when we had our sales figure. So those that discount will be taken from our workings. So as part of our sales, we would have calculated our discount 11,400, 11,600. We got 11,800 down here. And 11,900 for October. So we're going to add all them up. So your discount is going to be 11,400 plus 11,600 plus 11,800 plus 11,900. And that's going to give you your discount. Your wages then you can take straight from your balance sheet. So remember when I said that if you have time or from our budget account, that if you have time to add up your totals and you get your wages here then. Of 300, 313,500. You're going to have your variable overheads taken from the same place as well. 664,240. Now, your fixed overheads, it's taken from the same place as well. So 72,800. Depreciation then. So remember, we've got the depreciation as part of a working. We would have worked out our depreciation to be, I think it was 1,800. Yeah, so 1,800. 
So that's depreciation for four months. So you're going to multiply that by four. So 1800 multiplied up by four, and you get 7200. That's all your expenses. Now they should be in this column here. I'm just going to tidy that up. So you should get 108 or 1 million. 88,440. So you're going to take that away then from your gross profit. That's going to give your operating profit and then you're going to take away your interest, which we have in our budgeting section. So part C, you're going to take that away and that's going to give you a net profit of 816,510. So remember that profit and loss account very much like your question one. So you just kind of have a little bit different here with your, with your um, closing stock. We've got finished goods and we've got raw materials, one taken from part E, part A, one taken from part B. And then the rest then we'll have figures calculated up in our budget as part of C. That's why I say if you have time to kind of add these up, number one, it'll help you to make sure that if these are correct, you know you've it done correctly. And lots of help with those figures for wages, variable overheads, and your fixed costs as well. And that's part D done for 2020 Houghton cash budgets.